click on the subscribe button, and press the bell icon, to never miss any updates. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala in the name of Allah the most gracious uh, most merciful all praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala peace and blessings be upon his messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah I bear witness that whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides is guided to the right and whomever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leaves astray nobody can guide so my dear respected brothers and sisters uh, first of all Jazakumullah khair it's an honor to be amongst you tonight uh, especially for this particular cause working for the youth a new generation of leaders of the American Muslim community inshallah I would like, to, I'm here to fundraise, so I'm, I'm here to take your money. So one of the things you need to stay quiet for is the planning to serve dinner at nine. So if we don't get the money by nine, the dinner will not be served at nine. I strongly believe that youth centers are needed the most. And more importantly than youth centers and Islamic schools is that as Muslim community in general and the immigrant community, myself included, I was born and raised in Egypt as well, in particular, to change our culture in dealing with youth. And I want to share a hadith with you. It's an authentic hadith narrated by uh, Al Imam Ahmad in which a young man came to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and I'm not going to mention the entire hadith, I'm, I'm sure many of you know it and came oh, the, and says, Oh the Messenger of Allah, allow me, give me a permission to commit adultery. This is a young man and I'm going to stop here. And I want to ask our Imams, our teachers in Islamic schools, our parents, our brothers and sisters, how many times in your career you were approached by the young man coming to ask you this question? And I can tell you, and I asked Imams specifically, and almost no one was asked that question. And you know why? Because young people don't feel comfortable with their imams, with their mentors, with their Islamic school teachers, so they don't open up. Imagine what would an average imam or a parent will tell his own girl if she comes home and tells him, I want to have a boyfriend or I want to have a girlfriend. People rushed, according to the hadith, فَزَجَرُوهُ وَقَالُوا مَا مَا stop. What are you saying to the messenger? You know what he says, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? He said, Udnu, come closer. The fact that the young man came to the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and asked, it indicates that the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, created a culture that made people comfortable. He felt that he will not be judged if he asked that question. Many young brothers and sisters stop coming to the masajid. You know why? Because the first thing they're going to be told, sister, your hijab is not perfect. Brother, you you're, you're need to pull up your pants. This is the first thing we tell our brothers and sisters. And that's why they are turned off from our community. So the building is amazing, we have to go for it, but we need to build that culture of welcoming and, 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 and bring close to us our new generation of American Muslims. I'll, I'll share the research. 
How many of you heard about PU research? PU research is one of the most popular research centers in this country. So they say that 20% of the American Muslim community is raised in a different faith. So we have brothers and sisters who embraced Islam, who converted or reverted actually to Islam, because everyone is, is born as a Muslim. And this is amazing. But also it says that there is 20% of young men and women who grew in Muslim homes no longer identify themselves with Islam. This is part of the reality. And why not? We live in a country, uh, also according to Pew Research, there is a 24% of the American people identify themselves with no religion. Atheist, they call them atheist, religious nuns. They identify themselves with no religion. One out of every four people you meet, you go to school to, you hang around with, do not believe in religion. In New York Times published a study done by the uh, Pittsburgh School of Medicine in 2008. When the School of Medicine of Pittsburgh University analyzed the most popular 279 songs according to the Billboard magazine. They wanted to see they are very entertaining, mashallah. I love them. They wanted to see how much exposure of young men and women to drug use substance when they hear songs. And they figured out that 9% of pop songs have a direct reference to drug use. 14% of rock songs, 20% of hip hop, 26% of country songs, and 77% of rap music. They have a direct indications to drug use and substance use. An average of 84 times a day, over 570 times a week, over 30,700, I can come up with any numbers, right? Nobody's gonna pay attention. But those are actual numbers according to the study. Over 30,000 times a year, a young man or woman are exposed to drug abuse if they listen to music. This is part of the reality. And we need to do something about it. Not only we should preserve the identity of our Muslim young brothers and sisters. It's not enough, but also we need to prepare them to become the, the generation of leaders, not only in our community, but in the society at large. You know the success of this community? When you have an event like this, Dr. Dilwar, he keeps saying, um, how old are you? He keeps saying he's been around for 30 years. I'm 25 years old, uh, myself for the second time. Did you get it? Okay. So the success of the community, when the person who stand up on the stage to MC is the young brothers and sisters. And the Imam who give the talk is somebody who was born and raised in Brooklyn. And the chairman of the board is maybe somebody who's 25 or 30 years old from you, the young brothers and sisters here. I see more sisters, young sisters, more than the young brothers. That is the success of the community. And this is what we want to do by building a, a, a center like this. The doctor spoke about tawrith al-Islam, that we make them inherit, become the inheritors of the carriers of this message, the message of the deen. So tonight, none of that is going to happen without money. So we're here to talk about money. And we only have 40 minutes. So you have two options. Either we have 40 Islamic minutes or otherwise I'm gonna have to use the 40 Egyptian minutes. <laughs> Nobody can tell you what 40 Egyptian minutes are, by the way, because they're flexible, right? So tonight, 
We came to ask you about the money. The brothers says they, they need to raise $150,000. So if we have one brother who can give or a sister, obviously sisters raise more money, mashallah. If we have someone who can give $150,000 tonight, we can close a fundraiser and eat. Is there somebody who can give 150? Raise your hand. You never know. <laughs> I want you, as we fundraise, to reflect on, on an important concept in the Quran. One of my mentors, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive him, passed away many years. He used to say that he searched the entire Quran and couldn't find the word tadhiyah. There is no tadhiyah in the Quran. It was not, mean, you know tadhiyah means a sacrifice. There is no sacrifice in Quran. When it comes to anything. But there is another concept in the Quran when it comes to giving for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is called tijara. Tijara means a business transaction, a trade. And he says the reason is, and you can ask any businessman or woman here, if you're a businessman and you invest, you make the first million dollar, you want to make the second, the third. You don't stop. You don't come at one point of your career and say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to stop. Because that is what investment is. But when you make a sacrifice once or twice or three times, you may get tired. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu, hal adullukum ala tijaratin tunjikum min adabin aleem, tu'minuna billah, oh who you believe, shall I tell you about a trade that will save you from the, a, a severe torment? You believe in Allah. Tu'minuna billahi wa rasul and his messenger. Wa tujahiduna fi sabiri allahi bi amwalikum, and you strive for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with your souls and your wealth, your money, your business. That is a tijara. So every time we ask people to give, be assured that you're making a deal with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's make some deals with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tonight. Can we get somebody to give 150? I'm serious. No, 150. 100? Yeah? A $50,000? I'm, I'm just doing that for you. You ask me to ask. So let's ask if we have a brother or a sister tonight who wants to make a deal with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and wants to give $25,000 tonight or $20,000 tonight. Is there one person maybe came with the intention to give five and ten and he said, you know what? I want to make a deal with Allah. Is there somebody who can give $20,000 tonight once I'm going to move quick. Twice? Yes. Three times? Okay. Well, I have to move. Can we get one to five people can give a, a $10,000 tonight? Do we have somebody in this room who is willing to give $10,000 tonight? Inshallah. I don't know the community, but I what I know about this community that sisters raised $300,000. Takbir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them all. Qulu ameen, inshallah. So if we have one half of the community raising 300,000, this is amazing. Do we have someone who can give $10,000 tonight for this, making a deal with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? One time, you see brother scratching his head. Watch out. You have to watch every move during the fundraiser. I'll take this as a hand up. One time, job. 10,000? Once? Two times? Three times. It's going to come, inshallah. It's going to come. That's fine. All right. We have to move fast. A trade with Allah. Tujahiduna bi'amalikum dhalikum khayrun lakum in kuntum ta'lamun. So when we make a decision to save this money for a school tuition, for the down payment of the house, for, a ch for a changing uh, cars, to buy more luxurious car, it is better to spend that money for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So is there anybody, one last call to give $10,000 tonight? One time, two times, three times, then we're gonna have to move. It's gonna come inshallah. 
Can we have people to give 5,000? I'm not moving tonight. 5,000, we need to have some people. We have some donations? Huh? MashaAllah. This is, this is, okay, to, the same person. No, no, so, this is so, Masood and Salman Masood. Ma, brother Masood and Salman Masood. And Salman Masood. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them. Qulu ameen. You know what does Masood means in Arabic, right? Masood means happy. Somebody is blessed, is happy. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'll take the checks. So, Brother Mas'ud, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you, give you happiness in this life and the hereafter. Qulu ameen, inshallah. And see, when you say ameen, then, then you make dua for your brother, the angel will say, walaka mithlu. And for you is the same. So please say ameen. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant them happiness and safety in this life and the hereafter. Qulu ameen, inshallah. MashaAllah. That is, by the way, $9,000. Takbir. Told you. Every time we go to a lower amount, we get somebody who gives more. I'm still at $5,000. Can I get few more people, inshallah, to give $5,000 to tonight? To make a trick. Look at the concept of the Quran. Tijaratin tunjikum min adabin alim. Do we have a second five? Yes? Or you have another thing? This brother doesn't want to mention his name. Sure. He'll give 50,000. How much? 50,000. Allahu Akbar. So I have a... Uh, okay. See? The microphone. All right. Hey. So I have a donation. Side by. You, you know the brother, right? You know the brother, alhamdulillah. Because, because when I get a pledge form that has no names and no phone numbers, okay, you know the brother. So we have someone. I don't have batteries on me to change it. I don't know. So we have a donation. This is a big announcement here. Wallahi, I see this every fundraiser. Every time we go to a lower amount, somebody gives a, a bigger amount. Alhamdulillah. This deserve a battery, deserve a microphone. SubhanAllah. So this brother here is giving $50,000. Five zero. Takbir. Allahumma a'ti munfiqan khalafan. Qulu ameen, inshallah. Allahumma barik lahu fi rizqi. Qulu ameen, inshallah. اللهم بارك له في ماله اللهم اجعل هذه الصدقة حجابا له من النار قل وامين May Allah سبحانه وتعالى make this صدقة a partition a shield between him and the hellfire إن شاء الله قل وامين الحمد لله so 59,000 ما شاء الله so 50,000 dollars تكبير 59 so far then look at the concept in the Quran يا أيها الذين آمنوا هل أدلكم على تجارة a trade now Allah says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ اِشْتَرَى مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ أَنفُسَهُمْ وَأَمْوَالَهُمْ بِأَنَّ لَهُمُ الْجَنَّةِ Allah has purchased tijara. We're talking about a business here. Allah has purchased from the believers their souls and their money, their wealth for which they are giving the jannah. Do you know what the Sahaba said when, when that ayah was revealed? And I want you to think about this. قَالُوا أَنفُسًا خَلَقَهَا Souls he created. وَأَمْوَالًا وَهَبَهَا And money he has given. He has granted. ثُمَّ يَطْلُبُهَا وَيُعْطِي الْجَنَّةَ ثَمَنَ اللَّهِ Then he takes them and he gives paradise as a reward. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take the souls back, and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes our money back with no return, it would be fair. Because he is the one who gave the soul and he's the one who gave the money. But he asked them, asked for them back, and for that he gave the Jannah as a reward. So is there somebody who wants to give the Jannah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by giving five thousand dollars tonight? Five thousand tonight, inshallah. Do we have more 5,000 tonight? In Allah ashtara min al mu'minina anfusahum wa amwalahum bi anna lahum ul jannah for which they are given paradise. Take a place, you, you book a place in jannah by giving that amount of money tonight. Can we get someone? 
a brother or a sister to give $5,000 tonight. Once, two times, and three times. Sister, mashallah, what's your name, sister? You can say your name. In Tubdu Sabaqat. Asma, mashallah, sister, Asma, $5,000, takbir. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make her on the footsteps of Asma binti Abi Bakr. Qulu ameen, inshallah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give her the reward of Asma who supported the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa at the most difficult time to give her the same reward. Qulu ameen, inshallah. $5,000. You know, all sisters make big decisions in life. You know that, right? ITV, call of peace, save humanity.